Thank you, Chancel Choir. Happy week before the Strawberry Festival, AKA Fire Drill Sunday, Graduation Sunday, Trinity Sunday. It's such a blessing to be here together in worship this morning at the Monroe Congregational Church where we worship both virtually and in person. And no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. The flowers this morning are given by Alicia in loving memory of her father, Paul, for his birthday. Aren't they beautiful? Today we will have a fire drill. So don't get startled when you hear the alarm go off in about 45 minutes. I will direct you to evacuate, or Frank will, through the nearest door and assemble on the parsonage side lawn. Ushers will assist during the evacuation process. Our Sunday school classes will also evacuate to the parsonage side lawn, Pierce lawn, and families should rejoin one another here. Once the police or fire department arrive, please follow their instructions until they give us the all clear. Do not get into your vehicles unless it's really raining. If you're viewing from home, know that we will be signing off when the alarm goes off. I'd like to call on Vaughn to give us an update on St. George's Supper, which is tomorrow. Vaughn. Thank you. Um, as Jen said, St. George's is tomorrow, and we need your help. As of this morning, there are only three people signed up to bring supplies for St. George's. If anybody can sign up to help, please look at the website, look at the address that's, that's um, in the bulletin. I will be opening the back door of the kitchen about 3 o'clock, so any supplies can come in that way after 3. Thank you. Thank you, Vaughn. And I understand we have an announcement from our Strawberry Festival co-chairs. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so if you don't know who we are, Clark, John, Frank, and Josh. So this year, this has worked out perfectly to spread, spread out all the work between the four of us. It's really good. Inventory and ordering, finding really good ice cream and all kinds of other stuff. And Josh has got the PF team, and he's in contact with Jamie at um, Jones. Yep. And berries were looking great. Great. <laughs> yeah, we got enough rain and everything. They're very happy with that. So spreading, spreading this out has been, a, has been a pleasure, and everyone's pitching, and it's great. So a couple people I want to make sure that if you didn't know, even though we're co-chairs, I know everybody helps, but Diane in the office, um, she gets a million emails from us, <laughs> and she makes a million phone calls. So thank you so much for all you're doing. Um, and so for a uh, couple things I'm going to run through real quick is uh, jam. So this was great this year. We had a bunch of leaders, Villani's, we had Barnhart's, we had Susie. Uh, people just jumped in and took over a jam session and it was great. We wanted to make a thousand jars. We made 1,253. So we got this. Uh, oh, and PF had a jam session too. Yeah, and you guys made like almost 200 jars, so that's really good. That helped out a lot. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, and for the jam, just a fair warning, and Frank can attest to this because it was last, last Friday night. So we made some Satan's Delight. We changed the recipe a little bit. It's super hot. <laughs> really hot. And sweet. So it's going to sell. Like, it's going to sell. It'll definitely sell. That's so we're having the fire drill. Yeah, <laughs> fire drill, yeah. Um, so a couple of things I'm going to run through real quick. Volunteer sign-ups. Um, I haven't walked over there yet, but uh, we'll be there after church and, and ask, ask any questions you have. But sign up. We made the sign up so that there's just a couple hours here and there. So you can sign up a couple hours in the kitchen, a couple hours sorting, a couple hours in anywhere else. You don't have to spend all day in one place. Well, that would be awesome if you did, but um, one day in all place, or one place. You can spread it around, see what the festival is all about. Um, this year we're going to have face painting, thanks to Julie. No, 
Uh, so Julie and Kylie Allen, I think they're looking for maybe a couple more people who would like to do face painting with them. It's going to be a little different. Um, Julie did some face painting at another uh, event for Kathy, and the face painting is really cool. It's going to be totally different this year. Um, food trucks. Last year, we had one. This year, we have three. Thank God. Um, <laughs> we have three food trucks. We have a Colombian empanada truck. We have a Mexican taco truck. And we have a hot dog and sausage and pulled pork sandwich truck. We have three trucks this year, so that should take care of everybody. And on a, um, another note, really important note, is the hauling and slicing. There's a sign up for Friday. Uh, and if you can make it, please sign up. Friday's a really important day. Um, Peggy reminded me that's when we got to really get stuff prepped and ready for Saturday. And Saturday and Sunday. And I know the, she reminded me of the PF team jumped in when we were really far behind last year and just sliced tons of berries and hulled berries. That was great. So we just need people to sign up. Even if you want to do it for like an hour, sign up and get in there and, and slice. And no skill needed, just a little knife, take off the top and slice it up. Uh, whipped cream. Dave Allen handles the whipped cream. He's the master chef and only... He's not here today. Dave Walker. Dave Walker. Oh. Yeah, well, Dave Allen could do it too, but Dave Walker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so only a couple years ago, he couldn't boil water, but he's like the master chef of whipped cream. We need somebody to help him throughout the day and learn what to do. So if you're interested in that, just see me or show up in the kitchen uh, Saturday morning, and Dave will walk you through it. Um, there's a volunteer check-in tent like we had last year, and the volunteer check-in tent uh, will be right outside the kitchen. Come and get your name tag. Uh, and did everybody get a wristband? All right, you're all volunteers. <laughs> okay, so show up there and sign in. Um, one more thing about the kitchen. These two guys right here and Julio uh, are going to help knead the dough for Joyce and Kathy, right? You guys are there kneading the dough. So I know nobody's going to see that, but this is tough work. <laughs> this is really tough work. And Joyce and Kathy really appreciate you guys getting in there and kneading the dough because you can't make biscuits without them pounding on them there. Um, parking, there's going to be some handicap parking behind the building. We'll have, a, have a signs there. We'll have some cones uh, for some, uh, some of the workers in the, in the kitchen. Uh, just if anybody ever asks, we've got handicap parking in the back. The tents are going to be out here in the parking lot, so if you can carpool to the event, that's great. You can walk, bike, whatever. Uh, parking will still be at Fireman's Field and over here, but this lot will pretty much be taken up by the tents and the food trucks. Um, Kate and Don have new logos for the shirts. I think everybody knows that. Are you guys selling them after? Yeah. Yep, selling the new shirts, new logos. Um, new, hats. New, hats. new hats too. New hats. So thanks for that. That's awesome. Uh, and best part about the festival is when it's over um, on Sunday night, and we're going to have a dinner. And uh, Frank is going to be handing out some tickets to the families and, and people so they can just go to the food trucks and get their dinner. And we'll sit outside here. So please join us. Good stories. Josh will announce who picked the most berries, families and individual pounds of berries. And we'll tell some stories about the festival and uh, just enjoy each other's company. It's going to be great. Anything else I forgot? No, I think it's everything. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the kitchen. Wear, wear, wear your sneakers and long hair. Put it up. Put it in a hat. Um, and... What else? You need to have shirts with sleeves. Yeah, shirts with sleeves. No tank tops, no bathing suits. What else? Okay, if I forgot anything, you'll hear it again soon, I'm sure. Um, you guys good? Yeah. All right, good. Okay, we're good. Okay, there we go. And, and now, and now for a... Oh, hey, I, I can do it. Oh, I've got a script, all right. And, and now for a strawberry festival, a day in the life of a customer coming to the country store. Good morning. Good morning. I'm feeling a little peckish. What have you got? Oh, well, <laughs> we have strawberry jam. And we have strawberry peach jam. And we have strawberry blueberry jam. We have strawberry peach jam and strawberry 
raspberry jam, we have strawberry mango jam, strawberry pineapple jam, strawberry rhubarb jam, and jam, and blackberry jam, and, and strawberry with jalapenos, jam, and strawberries. Do you have anything else other than jam? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. We have a brilliantly braised steak rosini, served Provencal style in a light shallot Madeira sauce. It's festival favorite. I'll have the steak. <laughs> Medium <laughs> rare. Oh. I'm sorry, we're fresh out of steak. Oh. <laughs> I don't care much for strawberries. What else do you have? Well, we have, uh, we have strawberry jam. We have strawberry peach jam. We have strawberry blueberry jam. Strawberry raspberry jam. Strawberry mango jam. We have strawberry blackberry jam. We have strawberry rhubarb jam. We have strawberry blackberry jam. And strawberry jam with jalapenos and strawberries. Any jam without strawberries in it? Oh, well. <laughs> we have Satan's Delight. <laughs> it's not got much strawberries in it. Uh, wait, but I, I don't want any strawberries in my jam. <laughs> well, you might prefer very berry jam. So you're telling me that there are absolutely no strawberries in the very berry? Well, there are blueberries in it, and there are blackberries in it, and there are raspberries in it, and some other berries of the straw type. Wait, <laughs> did you just say strawberries? Well, it doesn't have many strawberries in it. I, I mean, it doesn't have many, it doesn't have as many strawberries as, as, as strawberry jam. Stra or strawberry peach jam, or strawberry blueberry jam, or strawberry raspberry jam, or strawberry mango jam. <laughs> Or strawberry rhubarb jam, or jam jam and blackberry jam, and strawberries with jalapenos and strawberries. Wonderful jam, marvelous jam. Wonderful jam, marvelous jam, jam 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 jam. All right, friends, are there any other announcements? Who wants to top that, huh? <laughs> any other announcements for the good of our community this morning? Well, let us be a people at worship.
Good morning. Can you please join me in the call to worship? From the very first whisper of creation, God poured forth love. Praise, Praise be to God, God for the blessing of God's, of God's love. In the fullness of time, God sent Jesus as a revelation of God's own self. Praise, Praise be, to, be Jesus to Jesus for the many ways in which, in which he revealed, revealed God to us. us. When we thought all hope was lost, God sent the Holy Spirit to guide us. Praise, Praise be to the Holy Spirit, Spirit for, for guidance, guidance and, and inspiration. inspiration. For the trinity of understanding, we sing praise. Blessings, Blessings honor, power, power, and majesty to God, to God forevermore. Please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we gratefully gather today in joyful worship to you and your son Jesus. Help us to open our hearts so they may be filled with your everlasting love. Help us to open our ears to hear your voice, and may the Holy Spirit fill our souls with love, compassion, understanding, and forgiveness. God, today we celebrate our recent graduates and applaud their scholastic accomplishments. We pray that you help our graduates to walk boldly in your wisdom and grace with unwavering faith. Plant deep inside their hearts a sense of overflowing gratitude and a desire to fulfill your works. Together, we pray that each of their lives be filled with love, kindness, compassion, and a desire to serve you. May your words guide them to be wise leaders and influencers of this generation. May every experience they encounter strengthen their faith in your son, Jesus. May your blessing be upon us all as we set out to be your servants and disciples. Amen. Amen. And please stand if you're able, and we will read our church's covenant. We declare our faith in God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In holy covenant, we bind ourselves to God and each other, becoming devoted disciples and active apostles. We promise each other to be faithful in worship and in support of this church, whose Savior and Lord is Jesus Christ. In Christian love, we will care for and support each other. With the Bible as our guide, we willingly promise all that we are and all that we have to the fulfillment of God's kingdom. Freely we say these things, glory in the joy of our salvation. Please remain standing as we sing together our first hymn, 21, God Reigns or All the Earth. And as we're singing, our children may head off to Sunday school.
seated. And friends, as you're settling into your pews this morning, if you would turn with me to the section in our bulletin that highlights our 2022 graduates. Uh, Senior Pilgrim Fellowship is celebrating these high school seniors who graduate. Jimmy Gill from Fairfield Prep, Mo Gorman, Gavin Mills, Jess Minch, Caleb Nealon, V. Sampson, Carly Stalling, Lauren Unger, and Therese Zielinski. Congratulations to them for graduating Massac High School. Zachary Jingris has completed active duty and will be attending Lincoln Tech in the fall to become an electrician. Kyle Conkle graduated from Yukon School of Business Honors with a Bachelor's of Science in Finance with a Computer Science minor. He's employed by Fact Sect Analytic Team. Colleen Conkle graduated from Sacred Heart School of Education with a Master's in Education, and she is a second grade teacher at a public charter school in Manhattan. John Malia recently graduated from Porter and Chester for plumbing. Gavin Mills is graduating from Massac High School and will be attending Western New England University in Springfield, Massachusetts. Jenna Rice will be graduating this year with a master's in learning and thinking from the Graduate Institute. Ryan Wilhite, grandson of Don Whiteley, graduated from Red Lion Area High School in PA on the Distinguished Honor Roll. He will be attending West Virginia University, majoring in biomedical engineering. Courtney Wilhite, granddaughter of Don Whiteley, graduated from Eastern University in PA with a BA in Health Science and a minor in Business Administration Biology. She graduated on the Dean's List and is a Multicultural Awareness Association Club Ambassador. And Jeremy Young graduated from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute with a Bachelor's of Science in Games and Simulation Arts and Sciences and Computer Science. So friends, we celebrate these graduates um, and all of their accomplishments and we bless them for the future. I invite you to join with me in our unison prayer. God of journey, as we travel on, alert us to things that matter and open our eyes to every sense of your presence. Give our graduates a sense of direction, purpose, and wonder. We thank and praise you for the support they have received from teachers and coaches, friends and neighbors, parents and family, this church and community. When they encounter life's challenges, give them wisdom. When life brings them sorrow, give them joy. May they know that in everything you are walking with them step by step, gently guiding them to the heart of all things. Amen. Friends, I invite you to join with me in spreading God's peace, saying peace be with you. I'm going to ask you to stand up again in body or in spirit as we sing our second hymn, For the Beauty of the Earth, number 28 in your hymnal.
We come before God in this time of prayer to remember loved ones, those on our hearts, situations in the world as they uh, unfold. We pray for the people of Ukraine and the ongoing conflict in that region. We also offer prayers for healing for Jean, Betty, Dot, Sue, Susan, Sheldon, Heather, and Jackie. For whom else shall we pray this morning? Yes, Anne. For Joanna, Cindy, Peter, and Ivor in our prayers. Yes, Joyce. For Will opening his own independent pharmacy in the valley, we pray for patience and healing for your sister, Suzanne, continued healing. Yes, Jackie. Prayers for loved ones. Prayers for loved ones. Thank you, Hannah. Strength for Carly and Natalie, we pray. Prayers for your friend, for Sherry's friend, as, as she encounters a fight with stage four lung cancer. Yes, Anne. We pray for good weather next Saturday and Sunday. You know, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any extra pull with, uh, <laughs> with our God, but, um, you know, I'm just in the marketing area, but we will do our best to pray for good weather as, as it comes. Well, friends, let us continue now in a time of silent prayer. Holy One, in your love and mercy, hear our prayers this morning. Spark of life, creation was envisioned by you and is sustained by you. In gratitude, we pray for the world, that its resources be used responsibly and fairly, that its leaders and rulers govern with justice, compassion, and humility that humankind may live with understanding and respect, noticing what unites us. In your love and mercy, hear our prayer. Prophet of love, you lived among us to teach us how to love. And so in humility, we pray for siblings around the globe, for those dehumanized by their struggle for existence. May we listen for those overshadowed by death and violence, may we take notice. For those besieged by fear and anger, may we show up. For those ensnared in systems beyond their control, may we demand a better tomorrow. In your love and mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One, breath of being, you are here in this very moment as a constant presence, an insistent voice. So with boldness, we pray that you inundate the world with humanity, overwhelm the world with truth, flood the world with kindness, upset our indifference, accelerate our, anxious, our action and fortify our resolve. Compel us to offer discipleship that nurtures creation, that embodies love and breathes life in your love and mercy. Hear our prayer. We join our voices together, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us we forgive and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 
The first words in Genesis are about God's own generosity. God gave us the gifts of a beautiful creation, our home, this good green earth, and the animals that live here with us. So on this spring morning, we come together to thank God, to offer our gifts, so that the ministry of this church will continue to grow and be a blessing to the world. Let us gather our gifts together and offer them to God in gratitude and in praise. Let us pray. 
O Lord, we rejoice with thankful hearts that you have given us this beautiful world in which to work and play, a world full of your wisdom and majesty. We offer praise with deepest gratitude that you have blessed us with your bounty. As we return a portion of your blessing to you, use these offerings and tokens of our devotion to increase wisdom in the world, to protect the created order, to bless the vulnerable, to heal the sick, and comfort the afflicted. Amen. Please be seated. If you'd like to follow along the readings, uh, you can get your Bible and seat in front of you. Proverbs 8, verses 1 through 4. The gifts of wisdom. Does not wisdom call and does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights beside the way, at the crossroads she takes her stand. Beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals she cries out, to you, O people, I call, and my cry is to all that live. The Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts so long ago. Ages ago, I was set up at the first, before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. When he had not yet made earth and fields, or the world's first bits of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. When he established the fountains of the deep. When he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his, transgress his command. When he marked out the fountains of the earth, foundations of the earth, excuse me. Then I was beside him like a master worker, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the human race. To the leader, according to the Giddeth, a Psalm of David. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants you have founded a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and you have put all things under their feet all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatever path passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. May God bless these words to our understanding. Thank you, Jessica. So there's a story about an international congress of skunks that gathered not so long ago to ponder the state of the world, the skunks representing all the evil in the world naturally. At some point, the chief of all evil, the devil himself, stood up and counseled all the little skunks to allow humanity to do whatever they desired even to love one another and be kind and generous. But, the devil declared, even as the humans do good deeds, you must ensure that the light of hope dies in their eyes. Then we have them. To be continued.
Sorry to interrupt everybody. I'm really sorry. Don't make it you know, impact the weather this weekend, please. Uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for this. We'll trigger the alarm. We have the fire marshal, uh, Bill Flavin, uh, next door. He'll trigger that too and make sure all the kids get out. We'll meet at Pierce Lawn. If everyone can do that, as soon as we see everyone out there, we'll shut the alarms off. And then we've invited Bill over for coffee hour if you want to meet him or ask him any questions, that would be great too. But uh, those that may need extra time, if you want to start working on it now, I'm going to go trigger the alarm right now. So thanks, everybody. <coughs> Get out and put them on a time, right? I won't fall. 